Good evening. A huge crowd showed up at the Odd Rock Cafe tonight, and suddenly things got out of hand. Charles Benson is at the scene to explain. Charles? Well, Nancy, I'm standing outside the Odd Rock Cafe, which is now closed. It is lo located near South Kinnikinick and East Stewart Street. Things did uh, go kind of uh, out of, get out of hand here today, tonight, and the exact reasons I'm not really clear yet. I've been on the scene only about five minutes. I'm going to turn now to John Cassero, who was inside when the pandemonium broke out. What caused the disturbance here? Um, the police arrived when they said it was overcrowded and people were leaving to come back for a second show. And I walked outside and I turned around and the next thing I knew is this guy is like getting dragged down the stairs saying, I didn't do anything, I didn't do anything. And the police proceeded to hit them with their clubs and kick him and then they just started pulling kids off the sidewalk and throwing them onto the street, you know? and. People were going to their cars, which were parked over there, and they were pushing them that way. You know, okay, and now I'm told them. that the band playing was Social Distortion, social distortion. from L.A. Yeah. It is a hard rock, punk rock type band, and some of the people here might be described as punk rockers. Is that fair or not fair? Um, punk rockers, whatever you want. To, we're just kids, you know, and they're more like a rock and roll band, and we were like being really peaceful inside, and it, I just don't understand it's a fair it. Statement. It's, you don't take the stereotype with punk rock. Yeah. This, this is a this is a hangout for a lot of teenagers who wanted to listen to some music tonight. When yeah, it's an all ages show. It doesn't happen that long. You know, it doesn't happen that often. Uh, five years people have waited for this band to come. You know, they they just never come to Milwaukee. They finally come and this happens. You know? Okay, John, I appreciate your time. A lot of other people here. They're disappointed that the Odd Rock Cafe is closed. They will not be able to hear the band tonight. Several people were taken away in police cars. We do not know how many of those people were taken away. Nancy? Charles, do you know if with all the pushing and shoving, anyone was hurt or if anyone had to be treated? I, I don't John, Nancy was asking if was anybody hurt, was anybody taken away by an ambulance or? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Okay, well. Yeah. I saw a girl get her head like forcefully slammed into the side of the police van. Um, people being restrained on the ground and being stomped on and kicked. Okay, well, that, that is the, the viewpoint of John here. We have not been able to talk to police to get their side of the story. Most have gone back. Uh, we hope to have a little bit more maybe later on in this newscast, if not tomorrow. Nancy, Mike? Benson now live for an update. Charles? Well, Nancy, that disturbance has netted 35 arrests, according to Milwaukee police. Most of those people arrested are in their late teens. They will be issued a citation for disorderly conduct. Police say the problem started because this place was overcrowded. Many of these people had come here to see a punk rock, hard rock type band called Social Distortion from L.A. The bar was too crowded. Police came in, tried to break up the overcrowdedness, and that's when the disturbance uh, begun and 35 people were arrested. Many people are still here. They're upset they can't see the van. Nancy? Last night's conflict between Milwaukee police and young adults in an overcrowded nightclub is still causing controversy today. Police were called to the Odd Rock Cafe on South Kinnikinnick around 9 o'clock last night. They reported finding at least 100 more people in the nightclub than is legally allowed, and when they started emptying the place, a scuffle broke out. At least 35 people were arrested, and many were fined for disorderly conduct. The people at the nightclub went to hear the punk rock band called Social Distortion. The capacity of, of the Odd Rock is about 90 people. How many people were in there? There had to have been about, about 200, 200 to 300 people in there. And he let, he let way too many people in there. He should have been counting. And all of a sudden, he goes up on stage and asks half of us to leave. What are we going to do? Say, you know, oh, sure, yeah. Some the cops came and caused trouble as usual. It, it was peaceful. There was nothing happening. Everybody was inside watching the show and having a good time. Was the building overcrowded? I've seen it worse. People in there were, were being nice to each other. There was no fights. The only violence that happened tonight is when the cops started kicking everybody Everyone else out. Right? The owner of the nightclub said when he noticed his place Why, was... Why a concert turned violent at a Southside Milwaukee nightclub. Police and a large group of young people got into a battle last night. 38 were arrested. And Myra Sanchek reports some of the people arrested say police beat them with nightsticks. Yeah, I got a citation here for $109. Donna Schmidt was one of the young people who came to hear the punk rock group Social Distortion. The Odd Rock Cafe was having a non-alcoholic night. Any age was allowed in. Mostly teenagers came. The problem started when too many people came to hear the popular band. People report they found the cafe overcrowded with at least 200 people inside. The legal capacity is 90. When police tried to empty the place, trouble started. 25 adults, 13 juveniles were arrested. 
as an angry confrontation broke out between the police and the young people. The owner of the Odd Rock Cafe calls it an alternative music nightclub. It not only has punk rock groups, but folk and blues. And the owner says what happened last night was totally unexpected. It's just something that got out of hand. Today, the cafe's owner, Jack Koshik, said he lost track of how many people were coming into the nightclub last night. When it started overcrowding, he asked people to leave. Some did. Others were slower about it, wanting the $7 admission fee back. I realized that, that we you know, had gone over our, our capacity, and so I'd already stopped letting people in. I already had already spoken with the band about doing a second show for the people that that were here. We're just trying to really find out why people were beaten up. And John Cassera says he's organizing the young people involved to file complaints with the police department. This officer looks at me and he goes like this, like provoking me, and I said, what? He gave me a quick swipe with his club in the arm. My sister was next to me, got hit in the head at the end of his club. I think they pushed it. They wanted us out there too fast. You know, people obviously they're gonna be upset they just lost seven dollars meanwhile the second district police station says it is investigating the situation and the owner of the odd rock cafe is trying to reschedule the concert that turned into a conflict myra sanchik tv6 news milwaukee wisconsin board I got hit by a Milwaukee police official. We all got hit. Where'd they hit you? I got hit in the throat and the face just to get at other people. Yeah, we got, I got hit in the back of the neck because we wouldn't move. So they, what, what, what a they Billy Club. Do? Billy Club. They hit one of my friends and I called him a bad name and then they hit me in the back of the neck and said, move your butt and then some other profanity. Thirteen juveniles ended up arrested when a scuffle broke out just before a rock band started playing. Police say overcrowding was the problem, but Dennis Dean says that is not the way it appears to have started. Well, I believe that uh, they received a, an anonymous phone call from somebody. Well, officers uh, responded to an anonymous call that there would be trouble with the skinheads. It started as simply as that. Rumors of a skinhead rumble at the Yacht Rock Cafe. It would have ended there, but for one thing. They found that in fact, there were about 250 people crowded into this small tavern area, which has a legal capacity of 90. We had, what, 137 people paid. It wasn't packed inside. It wasn't shoulder to shoulder. Tavern owner Jack Koshik says he was trying to split the oversized crowd into two groups and have the band play twice, but it didn't work out. Well, I was just told that, well, we're going to shut you down for the night. And, okay, sir. What happened was a lot of pushing and shoving and a lot of arrests and a lot of complaints by some of the people who were there about the way people were treated. And I, like, saw a cop stop another cop from beating someone up. I mean, that's how ugly it got. What did you see then? It was a mess. If anyone has concerns about the conduct of the officers there, certainly that information should be reported to the commander of the 2nd District, uh, who is looking into the matter. And as far as the skinheads are concerned, the ones that everyone was so concerned municipal about. Municipal ordinance violations after police tried to clear patrons from the Odd Rock Cafe. The crowd was much larger than the legal capacity of 90 people, and so there were arguments over refunds of the $7 admission fee. Some officers used their nightsticks, but there were no serious injuries. The district police commander says he has initiated an investigation to determine whether the use of force was appropriate. Coming out of that incident last night at the Odd Rock Cafe, too many people, a hundred over the legal limit, crowded into the cafe to hear a punk rock band. When police tried to clear the place, violence broke out. 38 people were arrested, most for disorderly conduct. Some complained they were hit. The cafe last week are questioning the way Milwaukee police handled that disturbance. The teenagers say police used excessive force when arresting 38 people who were at a punk rock concert last Tuesday. Police were called in when the Odd Rock Cafe became overcrowded and some of the teenagers refused to leave without getting a refund. Today, several people concerned about the disturbance said they would ask the city attorney Wednesday to conduct an independent investigation into the police department actions. Police were arresting kids for being profane, but on the same hand, on the other hand, they were being excessively profane. They were arresting kids for resisting arrest, but then they would use three or four officers to hold down 15-year-old girls, 15-year-old boys. The teenagers also want the city attorney to waive the disorderly conduct fines. Meanwhile, the police department is having its own internal investigation into those arrests.